Hello and welcome to this ELC installation video brought to you by IDERA. I'm Anil Mahadev, a Senior Solutions Architect here. In this demonstration, we will be giving you an overview of how to install the ELC, starting off with as soon as you receive your licensing email, and then we'll walk you through the steps. The key agenda is to introduce you to the ELC and what it is, then we'll go ahead and move on to the installation. At the Enterprise License Center, it provides a network-based licensing for our software products. The ELC supplies named user licenses as well as concurrent floating licenses. So depending upon the type that you have ordered, you will be given the appropriate license. We shall now uh, go through the process of how easy it is to go ahead and install the ELC on your machine. So without further ado, let's get started. Here on the desktop, I'll navigate and go to my ELC 53364 application that I have downloaded. Now before I go ahead and kickstart the installation, let me walk you through the email that you would be receiving and how you could get this file. So here what I can do is I can go into my licensing and here you'll notice that I have received two license certificates. The first one is going to be a concurrent license certificate. Let me walk you through these steps on what you would need in order for a successful ELC install. Well first of all as a best practice we would recommend copying these three which is the license certificate number, your login name and a password. One of the best practices is to copy it into a notepad file that you can actually go ahead and and save it. So here what I'll do is I'll go ahead and save it in a notepad file here for easy access. We'll come back to this later. If you navigate on top, you will find the Enterprise Licensing Center. Now this is where you would actually go ahead and download your ELC. So here you can go ahead and click on the 64-bit or the 32-bit, depending upon your preference. Now that I've gone ahead and downloaded the product, let me go ahead and install it. So let's go here. Let's minimize the screen and go back to the Windows Explorer. I'm going to right click on this installer and go to properties first and make sure that this there's no application block etc. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and right click and say run as administrator. We'll say yes. The installer is now extracting and at this point we will just uh, give it a moment. Now once the installer has been launched, we can go ahead and follow the screens that we will be seeing shortly. There we go. So this is the splash screen that launches. Here you can go ahead and click on the license agreement. You may read through the license agreement and accept the terms and conditions. We'll go ahead and, and choose next. Once we've gone ahead, here you can specify the path where you would like to install the product. So I'll install it in D drive and I'll go ahead and choose next. I'll click next again. And this gives you a summary of what will be installed and where and which location it will be present. So I'll go ahead and click on install here. It's actually going to go ahead and and complete the installation pretty quickly. At this point we'll click on done. So that was how easy it was to install the ELC. In part two we will be learning more about how to host the licenses and showing you more information on how to uh, work with the ELC. So 
With that, I thank you for your attention and have a wonderful day. Thank you.